Hey everyone, this is Charmaine from Fantastic Crafts. I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Today we're going to be creating a truly great full card for this fall. I know fall is um, either already here for some of you or right around the corner. Um, so I decided I would create a few cards that would show my gratitude towards the people who I am truly, truly grateful for. So let's get ahead and create this card. So I started with this um, fall stitched up card, uh, actually stamp set. And the reason why I was laughing about this is because this is one of my favorite stamp sets. Actually, this was my first stamp set ever. So as you can see, I have used it quite a bit. I actually am debating getting another one of these stamp sets so I can have a prettier one because I've literally been having using this so often i use it all the time every year since i've gotten it and not just once a year multiple times a year so i went ahead and i stamped some acorns for from the stamp set and i used my brother's scan and cut to cut it out now you can fussy cut it out yourself i was just being lazy this day so <laughs> i wanted it all to be cut out and i did do extra just so i can have a few extra on hand and then so as you can see the brother and scan and cut cuts it out just absolutely beautifully then i used some of my um nouveau water not water alcohol markers to color these acorn in you can use watercolor you can use anything i use memento ink particularly because i was going to do um colored in with alcohol markers but you can use whichever ink that would be better suited for whichever uh I guess item you're going to use to color these acorns in but I just uh, stuck with my alcohol markers and like always what I do is I color it all in with my medium shade and then I take the lightest I mean the darkish um, shade and I color the outsides of it to kind of do shading and then I go with the medium again and just blend it in together you can do that or you can do there are so many different ways of coloring but th these aren't really too difficult to color you just you can even just use one color then i use this um alphabet bold is the stamp set for this and this is also a maybe made it stamp set i love this stamp set because it is so versatile and i thought it like it was so awesome because this uh the letters from that stamp set fit perfectly into the little acorns so i decided to write out the word fall into these little acorns and i thought it was really perfect it just looked like it was made for these little acorns um i don't think it was but that was a awesome <laughs> awesome thing for them to do to create it or maybe to do to create it so it fits perfectly into these acorns so i just spelled the uh, words out uh, f-a-l-l -L, to say fall then i got this um uh, paper from cardstock from I believe Brutus Monroe and May May made a their own little collection of paper and this is called lunch bag the color I'm using um, and I just use the Brutus Monroe alabaster ink to just kind of give it a more tone on tone um, kind of background that I wanted to create so I used like the pumpkin the little leaf the acorn all of that to just create my background I also used that little swirly like wind thing to <laughs> make it look like everything just kind of connects all together so once I was done with my background now you could um, I, I wanted to mention you could do this on a whole piece of eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock but I just wanted it to be this little piece of paper so I can show you guys um, how I created the background rather than having to do it on a whole, whole eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Once I was done creating that little background, I love making little stitches and because the stamp set is called Fall Stitched Up, I decided to do like a few more stitch marks on the border of this panel. And I did wanna say I cut this panel a little differently than I would in, um, for something that would have a like one fourth of an inch or one eighth of an inch border, I wanted this to be landscaped and on the landscape size to be perfectly fit and just have a border on the bottom and the on the top. So you'll see that when I um, assemble this card, but that's um, that's why the card kind of lo looks longer um, horizontally horizontally than um, than it does vertically so I just wanted to mention that because I know that could be confusing then I took some um, let's see what is this called twine 
<laughs> I don't know why I forgot the name twine. So I use some twine to just um, add a little bit more dimension and a little bit more accent to my card. I wanted these acorns to be uh, like a banner hanging from the twine. So all I did was I just wrapped a little bit of twine around that card base or that card panel. And then I took the each individual letter or each individual uh, acorn. I made a little knot, just a simple knot on them. And then I tied it onto that little um, twine that's already on my card just to kind of look like I... Uh, well, it doesn't only look like it, it is. I, I wanted it to seem like it's tied to my little banner piece on the top on the of the card. So it did come out just like how I wanted it to. So that was really nice. Once that part of the card was completed, I just wanted to uh, put it on sentiment onto my card. And I chose the sentiment, truly grateful, from that same stamp set. And... Um, once I was done stamping, and by the way, that's just a little scrap piece of paper I had that I keep for sentiments like this. Um, I did want to put a few more stitches around that sentiment, so I went ahead with my jelly roll pen and did the same exact thing as I did to the card. And then I put some dimensional on the back of the sentiment and just placed it right in the middle of that card. So it says fall on the top and then truly grateful on the bottom. Now, something that I do not have recorded onto this um, video for some reason my again my video uh, stopped recording for some reason so um, I did put uh, some glossy accent on that truly grateful and then I popped this oh actually I didn't pop it up I just glued it right onto an A2 size card base and you can see right there that there's a little small border on the top and then a little small border on the bottom and that's exactly how i cut this uh panel to look just like that so that completes the card i hope you guys enjoyed it i thought it was a really fun card to create especially because um the banner that says fall i thought it was just so perfect that the letters fit right into those acorn just beautifully so i hope you enjoyed this um this card and if you did please make sure to thumbs up this video and if you haven't already please 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 subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notified every single time i create a new video until next time everybody have a great day bye